Acidic deposition can have consequences many miles downwind from its source. Emissions containing sulfur dioxide, nitric oxide from industries and utilities begin the process. Sulfur dioxide and nitric oxide can be transformed into sulfuric acid and nitric acid through chemical reactions in the atmosphere. And these acidic compounds descend to Earth's surface in rain, snow, fog, and dry deposition. Acid rain can be defined as the deposition of acidic or acid forming pollutants from the atmosphere into Earth's surface and can take place by pre precipitation, fog, gases, or even uh, dry particles. Some long term consequences of acidic deposition are now becoming clear. Acidic deposition had increased the concentration of aluminum in the soil, which can prevent tree roots from absorbing nutrients. The resulting nutrient deficiency slows forest growth and weakens trees, making them more vulnerable to drought and insects. It also reduces the ability of soil and water to neutralize acidity, making the ecosystem increasingly vulnerable to further acidic inputs. This map shows pH values for precipitation throughout the United States. Precipitation is most acidic in parts of the Northeast and Midwest, generally downwind and roughly east of areas of heavy industrial development. A good example is much of the pollution from Pennsylvania, Ohio, and Illinois falls out over to New York. In 1963, a legislation was passed in the United States called the Clean Air Act, which addressed the pollution in the United States. This body of legislation funds research into pollution control, sets standards for air quality, imposes limits on emissions from new stationary and mobile sources, and enables citizens to sue parties that violate the standards. It also introduced an emissions training program for sulfur dioxide. Under the Clean Air Act, the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency sets nationwide standards for emissions of pollutants, concentrations of pollutants in ambient air. But we must still continue to invest in alternative energy resources to reduce the amount of CO2 going into the atmosphere.